Today we're putting 22 popular magnesium supplements under the lab test microscope. 21 brands were tested including Swanson, Now Foods, GNC, Doctors Best, Life Extension and many more. So if you want to see how the label claims fared when compared to the actual lab test results, then keep watching. And spoiler alert, it gets pretty ugly. Now, as you probably know, there's several different forms of magnesium supplements on the market, each with slightly different properties, and the cost does vary depending on the form. Most of the products tested here are in the very popular glycinate form. However, I've also included a few other forms, such as magnesium oxide, malate, theonate, citrate, and aspartate. Now, I'm not going to try and tell you which form of magnesium is best as I'm sure you've already done the research to discover which one is right for you. And if you haven't, then you know what to do. What I will tell you though, just in case you're unaware, is that the percentage of actual elemental magnesium present in a product is totally dependent on the form of magnesium used. For example, magnesium glycinate is actually only 14.1% elemental magnesium by mass. So if a capsule contains 1000 milligrams of the glycinate form, then it actually only contains 141 milligrams of elemental magnesium. As another example, magnesium oxide is 61% elemental magnesium by mass. So in this case, a 1000 milligram capsule would contain 610 milligrams. However, it doesn't end there because only a percentage of the elemental magnesium present will actually be absorbed by the body. And again, this is dependent on the form. For example, in the case of the glycinate and oxide forms, only 23% of the elemental magnesium will be absorbed, while in the case of magnesium aspartate, 42% is absorbed. However, the aspartate form only contains 8% elemental magnesium to begin with, so as you can see, it can get quite complicated. Bottom line, there are no bad forms of magnesium per se. Some are less likely to cause stomach upset, some are better absorbed and so on. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with the glycinate form. However, as I mentioned earlier, do your research to determine which form might be the best choice for you. And if you'd like me to make a video on that very subject, then let me know in the comments. Before we move on, a very quick plug for my favorite longevity supplement brand, Do Not Age. Not only do they produce the world's purest supplements with every product totally free of fillers, the pricing is also great and they'll ship direct to your door anywhere on the planet. And here's an exclusive 10% discount code that will work for every one of their products, including subscriptions and special offers. Enjoy. Of the 22 products tested, only 12 products either met or exceeded the label claim. Eight products failed to meet the label claim and two products were guilty of deceptive marketing. There's also a big surprise when products were subjected to an additional form of testing that revealed some shocking results. And that's because all the magnesium glycinate products tested here claim to be fully chelated. However, when additional testing involving gentle water extraction was applied to the samples in order to measure the soluble chelated form of magnesium present, the results appeared very different for several of the products tested, clearly indicating that glycine was not entirely bound to the magnesium. Unfortunately, it's well known in the industry that many brands simply blend glycine with magnesium oxide or carbonate and then label the product as magnesium glycinate. However, this much cheaper, improperly labeled product is not a fully reacted or bonded chelate. And that's why you'll see a huge discrepancy in the results when I highlight the affected products, which in some cases shifts the result from a clear pass to a miserable fail. As I often say, the devil's in the details. So I'm now going to present you with an easy to read visual representation of the data, with the brands listed in alphabetical order. And I'll talk you through each product, adding additional info where necessary. First up is the brand BioEmblem, which at first glance looks like a decent product. It's sitting the 150 milligram label claim by 21 milligrams. Each capsule contains three forms of magnesium, including malate, glycinate, and citrate. Unfortunately, the product fails to list how much of each are included. First fail of the night is from the Serial Scammers at Deal Supplement. The label claims 750 milligrams per capsule. The test revealed 126 milligrams, with gentle water extraction revealing only 63 milligrams of soluble chelated magnesium present. Now, I do believe that the product and label have changed since the test referenced here. However, I can't recommend this brand, especially in light of their many previous and current scam products. Next up, we have the well known vegan brand Diva. The glycinate product slightly exceeded its 100 milligram label claim, delivering 102.1 milligrams, so all good there. Another trustworthy brand for you is Doctors Best with their magnesium lysinate glycinate product. 
Now the label claims 52.5 milligrams and the product exceeds this by 9 milligrams. This is actually the magnesium product that I currently take each night before bed, although I do also get a little magnesium 3 and 8 from my daily D3 K2 magnesium combination supplement. Now I've always found this next brand to be a bit hit and miss and that's Double Wood. Although their glycinate product exceeded its 60 mg label claim by 11 mg, additional testing revealed only a pathetic 28 mg of soluble chelated magnesium present. The brand is also guilty of deceptive marketing by declaring 400 mg on the front of the label as opposed to the actual elemental magnesium present, one to avoid. GNC is up next with their magnesium oxide product. 500 mg was claimed, 541.2 mg were found. So all good from GNC. Not so good though for our next brand, Horbach. Now although the total magnesium present exceeded the 120 mg label claimed by 8 mg, only 49 mg of this was water soluble. There was also an issue with the deceptive 1300 mg front label claim, so yet another one to avoid. Thankfully, no problems with the next product from Innovix Labs, with their malate glycinate product exceeding its 105 mg label claim by 20.4 mg. Following that, we have magnesium malate from Jigsaw Health, which exceeded the 125 mg label claim by 16.6 mg with no issues. And I'm happy to report that the ever popular brand Life Extension also did not disappoint, with its magnesium 3 net product delivering 31.9 mg over and above its 144 mg label claim. Quite a pricey brand up next and that's Pure Encapsulations. So finding out that the product delivered almost 10% less than its 120mg label claim is a little disappointing. Next we have another fail, this time from the brand Innate Vitality. Their magnesium glycinate product delivered 8mg below the 70mg label claim with further testing revealing only 38mg of soluble magnesium present. They were also guilty of claiming 500mg on the front label. Serial scammer alert again, this time it's Nature Bell with their magnesium glycinate product, which fell short of its 90mg label claim by 17mg, with further testing revealing only 41mg of soluble chelated magnesium present. Front label deception again taking place with 500mg indicated. Avoid this one like the plague. Next brand under the spotlight is Nature Made, and it's the all clear for them with their magnesium oxide product, which exceeded its 400mg label claim by 21.3mg. It was also good news for the super popular brand Now Foods, with their magnesium glycinate product exceeding the 100mg label claim by 10mg. And that's not the only product from Now Foods that was tested, with their magnesium citrate exceeding its 133.3mg label claim by 6.6mg. Definitely a brand you can trust. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for the brand Pure Realistic. Now at first glance, their magnesium glycinate product appeared to only fall short of its 200mg per tablet label claim by 3mg, which is excusable. However, further testing revealed only 44mg of soluble chelated magnesium present. I'd suggest giving these jokers a wide berth. Now I've got to admit, this next one did surprise me, because Swanson are usually a very reliable brand. However, the triple magnesium complex product containing magnesium oxide, citrate and aspartate fell short of its 400mg label claim by 25.2mg. Now although this is technically a fail, based on Swanson's track record, in no way would this put me off the brand in general. Next we have magnesium glycinate from Tyranix, which managed to fall well short of the 500mg label claim delivering only 50mg. As if that wasn't bad enough, further testing revealed that only 40mg of that was actually soluble chelated magnesium. Next up we have what appeared to be an initial pass from the brand Tonique. Their magnesium glycinate product claimed to contain 150mg of elemental magnesium per capsule, which was actually exceeded by 28mg. However, further testing revealed the presence of only 49mg of soluble magnesium. So that's a pretty big fail from Tonique I'm afraid. Holium's magnesium glycinate is the next brand under scrutiny, with testing initially indicating that the product exactly matched its 150mg label claim. However, further testing revealed there was actually only 111mg of soluble chelated magnesium present. And lastly, we end on a huge fail for the well dodgy brand ZYY Nutrition. Their glycinate product claimed to contain 500mg of elemental magnesium per capsule, which in itself is a ridiculous claim, as this would require over 3.5g of magnesium glycinate to achieve, so the capsule would need to be huge. 
However, only 65 milligrams was actually present, with further testing revealing only 35 9 milligrams of soluble chelated magnesium. So, as you can see, buying magnesium can be a minefield. However, hopefully this presentation has made your purchasing decisions a little bit easier. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Many thanks for watching, and as always, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.